kerfuffle, confused, and bedazzled. I don't want to be bedazzled. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't look good with rhinestones all over my body. But you'd look fabulous. That would hurt. Fabulous. Well, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the pain is not worth the shininess. <laughs> it could be. Uh, where are we going next? Probably just to... Actually, I think we're gonna finally clear out. Um, we we did one. We did the first uh, AR gliding mission last episode, and I think we're gonna clear out the rest of those in the uh, the next few as well. And I did remarkably better on all of the gliding uh, training missions, like while I was recording this game, than I ever have while playing it normally. <laughs> Because um, cause we saw last video, like, I did that AR training one try, and I've never done it on that one before. <laughs> right. Because um, cause those things can get kind of difficult. They're a little tricky. Aw, Hugo Strange is such a bastard. Yeah. Abducting people to experiment on them. Jeez. Sounds like a real jerk. Good thing he's dead now. Yes. Oh, wait. Maybe. <clears throat> it's not what... Ba Batman's not supposed to be celebrating that, but okay. <laughs> I mean, like we said, Batman is kind of a dick. Yeah. 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 So, anyway. Something that I wanted to bring up a, a couple episodes ago, actually... When you mentioned um, Steam, was the absolutely awful state that my Steam account is in. Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever talked about this before, but um, do you do you know offhand like a guesstimate of what like how many games you have on your Steam account? Uh easy one. <laughs> Fantastic. Cause I have an because I have an Apple. So, ah. <laughs> well, and I've been trying to keep, uh, uh, gaming on my, com my laptop to a bare minimum, just because, like, as of yesterday, I literally have $3,000 worth of software. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> for audio and stuff. So, if a for, game borks yeah. my laptop, I'm going to be very grumpy. I mean, <laughs> I haven't had any issues with that so far, but... I don't want that risk. Yeah, especially since you're using Macs rather than PC. Yeah. There would be higher chances of, pro like, incompatibility, probably. Yeah, um, and... and oops. Believe it... Good job. And believe it or not, for those bitching about game DRM, it has nothing nothing on music audio uh -huh. software oh. let me tell you a little story a little side tangent want to know how many accounts i have for at audio activation at least 10 uh close i have like five uh. <laughs> all uh. have different passwords all have different codes of course they do all have different one, I actually have a physical dongle <laughs> that if it's not plugged into my laptop, it will not talk. Why? Thanks for your help. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh. It's geez. really stupid. And yeah, so I really don't want to hear it when these people are like, Game DRM is stupid. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> well, I mean, it is. It's bullshit, Just... but. It's just Fuck not off. not to the same degree. Oh no! But it's like, really not. Well, that's that's the reason. Oops, that's the reason why people complain about it though, is because they don't want it to get to that level in the first place. Oh, I don't think they have a fucking clue <laughs> of how bad it can get. Because when I mentioned it before, they're like, seriously. 
Yes, seriously. I mean, yeah. It's bad. Anyways, your Steam account. It's a mess. <laughs> um, Don't on... you have, like, folders? I mean, can you get folders? Well, all right. So I have, on my desktop, I have folders that I've organized my game shortcuts into. Um, like, I have I have a, a, a big mega folder that's just for game shortcuts in general. And then inside that folder, I have folders for games that I've beaten, games that I haven't beaten, uh, MMOs, and then inside the... Um, inside the games I've beaten folder I have another folder which could be moved out out of it to be honest but it's another folder specifically for Blizzard games because I have enough Blizzard games to warrant having a separate folder for <laughs> Blizzard games <laughs> um, but yeah I have so so I have on my Steam account 230 games. All right. And I have beaten probably roughly like Can you rise to the maybe like 50 of them. Or will you be at a, that sounds at a, about right. At a guess. Uh oh. Oops. Welp. Batman just got crushed. You were a bat patty. <laughs> yeah. Actually, more like a bat waffle, given the way that that... Um... Kind of like how you waffled that puzzle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're gonna... We're gonna do all that again. And uh, hopefully not fail this time. Yeah, I've got like... I've got like 230 games, and I've not beaten the vast majority of them. I haven't even started playing the vast majority of them. And, uh, it's, it's, it's bad. It's bad. It's like, because the worst part is that, naturally, every single time something goes on sale, I'm like, oh, that looks really cheap. I want to buy it now. Even though I'm not going to play it for, like, a year. <laughs> or I'm going to play, like, an hour of it and then not play it again for, like, a year. Yeah, I have a feeling once I get a PC, it's going to be exactly like that. <laughs> it's, uh... <sighs> Steam sales are a problem. Yeah. Fortunately, I've like I've reached a point where in the vast majority of their, the sales now... Thank you, Riddler, for making puns. <sighs> That's the wrong one, by the way. Good job. We we got shocked there. Um, you can use detective mode to see the power lines. Oop. Yeah. Actually, no, I think I hit the right one the first time. And then sh threw the second one for the laughs. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Uh, oh, yeah. Fortunately, like my, my Steam account has gotten to the point where... Now, during Steam sales, they don't have many games that I'm actually interested in buying that I don't already own anymore. <laughs> so it's Jeez. like, yeah, so it's like, oh, this game is on sale for five bucks, but I already have it, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, I've been kind of wondering what, at one point, do you get when there's these Steam sales, but... You're at a point where you have the ones that you want, and the Steam sales yeah. do nothing. It's because, I mean, very frequently uh, during like the seasonal sales, the same games will go on sale. Um, so, like, if if something goes on sale in during like the summer sale, it's probably going to go on sale again for like the winter sale, and it means that if you buy it, like once it goes on sale the second time, it's that's just a game that you don't care about in the sale anymore. Um, so, I've bought a lot of games like that 
because I am a poor bastard. And that means that I don't have to care about many of the uh, sales anymore because it's very infrequently that they actually put games I am interested in on uh, deep discounts. Mm. Which is not not the worst thing because once again I don't have any money. And I really shouldn't be spending it on Steam games. <laughs> I'm an irresponsible adult. Where is he? I'll deal with Riddler. Just tell me the code. Code? He gave everyone else yeah. a code. <clears throat> Why didn't he so this is a tricky he one. Like you thought you'd die in here. I guess he was wrong. Because this is... Is there anything I can do? No. Get back to the church when you can. This is the last Riddler room. Oracle, we've got a problem. I solved the last Riddler room, but there wasn't a radio frequency. Rot row. What's he up to? Yep. I don't think he thought I'd defeat his last room. That's good, right? He still got hostages from the church. If they're still alive, I So mean, now search every record about the buildings he's used so far. There may be a connection there. We have to triangulate the Riddler's position. Uh thankfully not the same way that we did Zaz's. Thank God. <laughs> no, we just uh, we just have to collect right. more Riddler Let's secrets. Um still have more, 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 so I'll just need a couple of days and I will make a puzzle so taxing that you will never solve it. I will. Mm, no, you won't, Riddler. No, no, you really won't. You won't get that luxury. Actually, uh, so the Riddler was the central antagonist for um, the Batman Zero Year story arc that uh, Scott Snyder started writing for the, the New 52. And he was used to quite exquisite effect in that yeah yeah because um so it was basically kind of like a, a retelling of how batman like how bruce wayne came back to gotham um aww. <laughs> did, you, did you like that thud yeah <laughs> um so it was like it was kind of a story about batman's like f the, the beginning of batman's career uh, which I know a lot of people kind of scoff at the mere idea because Frank Miller already did it 20 some odd years ago uh, oh geez actually almost like 30 years ago now holy crap <laughs> um, but it was like it was a story that kind of involved the, the Red Hood gang back when maybe Joker was the like person kind of running things um and so riddler kind of crippled gotham as a massive like tsunami was getting ready to hit it and he ended up knocking out like the entirety of gotham's kind of infrastructure and sent them back into a uh like a technological dark age And it was actually really well done, for as weird as it sounds. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I really like Scott. Like, I've, I've said this before a couple times, but I really like Scott Snyder's work on the Batman comics. He's, uh, he's a very good writer for Batman, I think. Oh... How many more? Oh, I think this is the last upgrade, actually. It looks like it. Yeah. I do not believe we have any more left. Which means that we're getting very, very close to the... Well... I mean, we're not actually... We're not actually that close. Oh, God. <laughs> There's so many... So many more secrets. Uh, <clears throat> that's where the sneaky... Circle is finally Jesus. Oops. I thought I could have sworn there was a camera there. I don't know. Anyway. So have you been playing any games lately? 
Uh, I mean, like the or aforementioned Catherine. Um, yeah. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Oh, are you still playing that? Yeah, on and off. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I really haven't been touching the story. I've just been sailing around because it's really soothing. A pirate's life for you, huh? Oh, it's... I don't know why, but sailing in that game is just really, like, zen and just kind of like, mm, It is. I'm just going to go over here, that's... raid this island, see so what that's happens. Why... That's why I don't understand... I mean, to some degree. I don't understand... Uh, this is not the riddle, by the way. <laughs> Oops. Um... That's that's why, to some extent, I don't understand why people complained about the, uh, like, sailing in The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Because it's, I mean, obviously there's, it, it's a little bit different, because you're not playing, like, a big pirate ship with loads of guns and everything, but it's got the same kind of feel to it, like, where you're just sailing around this big ocean, trying to check out what you're going to run across and it's just really kind of soothing to do yeah and uh i mean I, I guess i can't i can't fault nintendo for giving you a faster sale in the hd re-release but you know oh hey hi mr freeze i wonder what happened to him yeah, we we finally told him where his wife was, and now he's here. I told you I would find her. Thank you, Batman. I am sorry. I, <laughs> I like how he sounds robotic when he has his little uh, helmet glass up. You are better than this. Oh. You know he won't. Yeah, she'll stay frozen, and he'll turn back to a life of crime, and. Yeah. And then you'll have to stop him yet again. <sighs> Just as we always do, because that's that's the Batman cycle. Like Yeah. That's comic books. <laughs> um, let's see, what else have I been playing? Well, Pokemon on and off. I always have a Pokemon game going. Always. Always. Oh, Pokemon. I can yeah. never quit you. We have two guys. Two political prisoners being beaten up at the same time in the same spot over here. <laughs> funny, funny enough. <laughs> I need to play Pokemon again. Actually, I I actually need to play my 3DS again. Um, yeah, which uh, Omega? Which one is it? Omega Ruby? Omega Ruby and Alpha, and Alpha Sapphire. Sapphire. Yeah, those are really good. I uh, have Alpha Sapphire, and I have played it to. Like, like I'm very near. Oops, I'm very near the point where. Oops. Oh, oh god. Oh oh no, there were mines. Oops. Um, I'm very near the point where you go to the elite four, but I just haven't gone back to playing it yet. Um, okay. And I need to like I need to start playing my 3ds again because. I um, have a load of games on it that I really enjoy and really want to play more of. And I just... Oops, 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 oops. Yeah, there's a reason I sped all this up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, like, I have, like, Bravely Default that I haven't played much of. I haven't played that one, but I have it. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm actually... So I'm really excited to play that because I had of um uh just like at the end of last year I started getting all of the Final Fantasy games for my like Vita because mm -hmm. um, like I had I had the PSP re-releases of Final Fantasy one and two on my PSP and then I had um seven eight and nine on my Vita already and so I was like oh well I'll buy you know three and four and five and six and because uh, I bought ten and ten two when they came out on Vita as well. Yeah. Um, 
So I just like have all of the Final Fantasy games. <laughs> just every single one of them. And I, I started playing them like in chronological order. Uh, one, two, then three, and four. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so Final Fantasy three, the like the, the re release that they did for the DS and PSP was made in this in the same style as a spin off game called Final Fantasy and the Heroes of Light, I think. Okay. Um Which was the Four Heroes of Light, uh, which was a like very classical kind of turn-based JRPG with a, like chibi art style and and everything like that. Um, so the re-release of Final Fantasy III was very much like that, and I played through it on my Vita, and it was incredibly good in my opinion. Um, it, like I liked it way more than one or two, and I really enjoyed uh, two especially, actually. Um, and Bravely Default is made by the same development team who made Final Fantasy: The Four Heroes of Light, so it's a very similar style of game to the 3D re-release of uh, Final Fantasy III, and. So I'm like, I'm actually really excited to go back to play Bravely Default. I just have not played my 3DS. <laughs> right. And then I also have, like, I have Monster Hunter 3 and I have Monster Hunter 4, both, because Monster Hunter, why not? <laughs> I don't understand Monster Hunter, like, at I, all. I didn't, and then I started playing it. I tried playing it. <laughs> Like, I legitimately tried to play it, and it wasn't clicking for me. Well, we can talk about that more next time. Fine. 